Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Old Jake, and this is well, the Old Jake News on the Old Jake Network. Is that redundant? Absolutely. But, uh, I know the last time I made one of these, it was it was primarily, primarily a joke. Uh, and I wish what I was about to tell you was a joke, dear viewers. I really do. Sorry, I need to smoke for this. This shit is... This shit is special, to say the least. So I was on my way to work today, and I like to listen to uh, some news and shit while I do. Uh, don't ask. I'm, I'm old. It's what we do. And I hear some news about Fallout 76. Now that's strange. I haven't heard anything about this game in quite a while. Um... Not since they mentioned that they were going to be adding human NPCs, which is now delayed until next year, go figure. But Bethesda, in all their mm, wisdom, wisdom, uh, have decided to add a monthly subscription fee. Mm, mm, kind of like World of Warcraft. Mm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, for $13 a month, or $99 a year, <laughs> for $99 a year, you can have access to... <clears throat> special emotes and a unique shit outfit that nobody fucking wanted. <laughs> <clears throat> and a unique fast travel system. Hey, there you go. <laughs> From what I can tell, all of this shit right now is already in the game, and you can buy it with your microtransaction money, you fucking sheep. But, it also adds private servers. Wow! A feature they have been promising since the launch of this shit show. Oh my god. And... You people are surprised by this. That's that's what I'm. That's the over overwhelming consensus here. Is this is a shock? Mm. Mm. So, a feature you didn't want in a game you didn't want is a shock to you. Really, really. My God. Like, all right, I thought this game was a prank when it first, ke like, uh, I had some respect for Bethesda, but god damn, this game is the equivalent of a flaming bag of shit on your doorstep. And for those young people who don't know what I'm talking about here, we used to take bags of shit, put it on somebody's doorstep, light it on fire, and ring their doorbell. A doorbell is a thing that was outside your door, and you could push the button, and it would make a, a noise in your house, and you would be like, oh, there's somebody at my door. The doorbell industry is uh, dead, yeah, with the uh, rise of cell phones, because you can just be like, hey, motherfucker, I'm here. But, you know, it was, it was a thing back in the day. So, Fallout 76 is the flaming bag of shit on your doorstep, and with this, they just poured gasoline on the shit pile. It's not even a bag anymore. It's overflowed. It's just a literal pile of shit on your doorstep, and they're just dumping gasoline on it. Like, I really wish this was a joke. I really do. People buy this shit? Look, I'm honestly amazed anytime somebody tells me they like 76. Like, at all. But... Are you serious? Really? 
Really? This is this is the evolution of gaming. Okay. Um. Wow. I could understand the subscription fee if uh the game was free uh, originally, you know, and it wasn't just full of features that should have been added at launch. Like, first of all, nobody gives a shit about emotes. I've literally never seen anyone use those except for in Bethesda trailers. That's it. And those overhyped streamers that, like, what the fuck? I'm honestly, like, I'm blown away by this because I can't imagine anyone having testicles that big. Like, Todd Howard must have a really hard time finding pants that fit trying to stuff those big balls of his in his pants because fuck. Really? Really? Right, well, fuck. I got to uh I got to finish this off with a joke because like OJN started with mostly jokes, so last time I, I did a decent stuff and then followed it with jokes, so let me think here. Let me think of a good joke. Oh, I got it. You! You're the fucking joke! Anyone that bought 76? Anyone that plays 76? Bethesda's a joke? Anyone that's gonna buy this? You're the fucking joke! <laughs> 99 I'm old Jake. This was the old Jake news. You can go fuck yourselves. <laughs> <laughs>